Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. This is the sixth video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, uh, I will try to cover the pencil tool and blob brush tools that is available in this application. So let's start by tapping on this brush icon in your toolbar. And here you are given the pencil tool and blob brush tool in the same row. So let's start with the pencil tool, select the pencil. And if you start drawing, you can see here is a shape. And uh, here are some other options that are given uh, here. If you select it, the smoothness of this pencil drawing. So now we are on smooth, uh, smoothing 10. So if you if we drop down this smoothing level, it is 0 to 10. If you drop down to maybe 3, uh, you can see that the drawing is more rough. It is not more smooth. So if you want a smooth drawing, you can uh, change the settings by using this slider. Also, if you want uh, the fill color to be uh, the part of your drawing, so let's select the uh, color in the fill. And now if you, if you draw, the fill color will be there for you. And uh, you don't need to add the fill color um, afterwards. It will be added right away when you are drawing uh, the shape. So that's uh, it for the pencil tool. Uh, the next option is the blob brush tool. So let's select that. And here are some couple of uh, brushes that are given. The basic round, uh, which is selected by default. The second one is the basic flat. It has the flat edges. And basic chisel, if you it, it has more calligraphic feel to it, and the basic terminal, the um, the start point is different from the end point. So for for an example and for the elaboration, let's select this basic round. Uh, it has the round corners and round terminals. Okay, now. As you have selected the blob brush tool, here are some couple of options. Uh, like you can change the size of your brush. The second one is again the smoothness level. The third option is the brush settings. Uh, you can change the roundness of your brush stroke and you can also change the angle. You can also change the pressure sensitivity of your pencil. And the last one is the merge brush strokes. So I will elaborate all of them one by one. So for example, we want a rounded brush with no angle and pressure sensitivity on and merge brush strokes on. So let's start drawing. So if you select this shape, it will act like a single object because we have the option merge brush strokes enabled. So whatever you draw on your artboard, it will act like a single object. But if you want each stroke to act separately, you have to uncheck this box. So now let's see what happens. Now select this shape. As you can see, both 
these strokes are now separately drawn so you can edit them afterwards so it's a very convenient option so guys that's it for today i hope you like this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one okay.